Hi, I'm Lindsay with Costa Quills. I've been breeding hedgehogs for two years, and I wanted to talk a little bit about why I use Hedgy List. Whenever I started breeding, I had these, you know, five generation pedigrees, and I was using kin tracks. I made friends with another wonderful breeder, and they told me that they were using Hedgy List, and they were more accurately calculating their COIs. Hedulist is a great way to be able to go in and verify a paper pedigree that you receive from another breeder. They may not even have everything spelled correctly. The date of births may not be listed. The colors may not be listed. And you can find all this extra information about these animals that you're buying on Hedulist, as well as correct any errors that were in the original pedigree. And you can go back in to your database, you can go all the way up to 10 generations with kin tracks and more accurately calculate a COI. You can correct any spelling errors that were found on the pedigree. It's a very, very helpful tool. I'm gonna to give you an example. I bought this animal and Laszlo was misspelled, a theme was misspelled, and some of the full uh, some of the full initials were not on here. It wasn't registered. The big mistake when it was right in here. The initials were wrong. The whole wrong animal got selected. Now this can happen when a breeder is quickly inputting their pedigrees into the Kintrex database and they say, start typing Jamaica and it says, Jamaica already exists, do you choose to replace it? It may not show you those automatic initials as the prefix at the beginning, automatically generated a pedigree that wasn't accurate. Void isn't really BBH Void, it's BBH Cole. Maribel is also another parent of this animal right here. And then all these animals were incorrect. So when we look at things on a bigger picture, this is a five generation pedigree, almost a quarter of the pedigree information was incorrect, resulting in, you know, me inputting new animals entirely. And that would have resulted me in a lower COI calculation because I'm adding new animals to the pedigree that have less info on them than all the animals on my database, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to show you um, real quickly what we found. When I put Ken's pedigree in, there were some corrections. And of course, the corrections came from Jamaica. Now, this is an entirely different pedigree than what I had originally entered. Because I have this tool, I'm able to go in here and see more about these ancestors. But Maui has his color registered. Um, some of them are going to have their date of birth. Maui also has a date of birth on him, as I, we discovered the other day. The date of birth of 2011. How cool is that? So this would be a long deceased 12 year old hedgehog. But look, all this information in the background about his color and his ancestors colors are provided here like gypsy was a chocolate chip. Hedulist helps all in all with common breeder misspellings which these are all the common errors as input in kin tracks. I also after updating all this information I went into further generations and I updated my CUI calculator. Once I updated my database I was able to get a much more accurate COI. I highly recommend Hedgylist. It's an invaluable resource, and I started using it whenever I first became a breeder and I bought my first hedgehogs. I could not research as much information on the hedgehogs in my herd without it.